Hi everyone, and welcome to English for You. I'm Pat. I'm Jiggling. And today we're going to be joining Jason and Sarah as they have some fun in the sun and enjoy a trip to the beach.、Uh, do you enjoy going to the beach? I do, I do, but I don't usually go to the beach. There isn't a lot of, there aren't really a lot of good beaches in Taipei. Not quite so close, but you don't have to go far to go to places like Fulong or others. Oh, I think I did, but it was like two years ago. <laughs> okay.、Uh, are there any others really nice beaches around the world that you've been to? I've been to this one in South Carolina. That's called the Myrtle Beach. Okay. It was really nice, and they usually have musical festival events out there. Fun. Yeah.、Uh, I've been to the beach at Boracay in the Philippines,、oh. which is absolutely beautiful,、mm -hmm. and.、Uh, An area called Rodney Bay on the island of Saint Lucia that's also really stunning.、Um, so yeah, I love going to the beach. White sand. Yeah, definitely white sand. I love white sand. Super、beaches. clear water.、Mm -hmm. um, not quite like the beaches in England, which tend to be a bit stonier. The water yeah, yeah, tends yeah. to be a bit grayer and much, much colder.、Mm -hmm, yeah. You have to be quite a hardy person to go into the into the water in the UK. <laughs> But what about Jason and Sarah? What are they going to get up to on the beach? Let's read through day one of our article and find out. Reading. Fun in the sun. Jason and Sarah enjoy a trip to the beach. Jason and Sarah are planning a day trip to the beach. Hey Sarah, are you excited about our trip to the beach tomorrow? Yeah, I can't wait to feel the sand between my toes and the sun on my skin. What should we bring with us? I've got some water and snacks. I've also got sunscreen, towels, and a beach umbrella. By the way, don't forget to bring your swimsuit and a change of clothes. Of course. Thanks for mentioning it. What activities do you want to do at the beach? I'd love to go swimming and maybe try some surfing. How about you? I want to relax and enjoy the view, but I'm also up for trying surfing or stand-up paddleboarding if possible. That sounds interesting. I'll reserve a surfboard or paddleboard. What time do you want to go? I assume we want to leave early in the morning, so we have plenty of time to enjoy the beach. So this is a dialogue article. It's a conversation between Jason and Sarah, and we start by finding out that Jason and Sarah are planning a day trip to the beach. Okay, so we can now planning. So they are planning to do something. So this planning is a plan. So that's the word for beach. The sound of the beach. Oh, that short sound. If you say short sound, that will become another word. Be careful. So it's a day trip, which means they're going to go in the morning and they're going to come back that night. And we also learn when Jason starts talking, it's tomorrow. He says, "Hey, Sarah, are you excited about our trip to the beach tomorrow?" Oh, so are you excited about something? 就是你对什么兴奋吧 Some I've heard American people say. Are you excited for something sometimes? Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, so be excited about something or be excited for something 就是对什么兴奋。那它是来自于 excite, which is a verb, and also the noun form excitement. 那它的另外一个形容词是 exciting。那它们的意思是不太一样，大家要注意一下。So Sarah says, "Yeah, I can't wait to feel the sand between my toes and the sun on my skin." Of course, those are two pretty common things to experience at the beach. It is nice to get onto the sand, take your sandals off, and start really feeling it on your feet. Unless it's really, really hot sand, which does tend to happen to me in Taiwan. It's like, ow, 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 ow! Put my sandals back on. <laughs> That kind of feeling. Yeah. So this bit, we can like can't wait to do something. This is actually we really like talking. For example, the first thing I say is, "Hey, Pat, the dance is next week." Hmm. Can't wait. Yeah. Just wow, I'm not ready. That kind of feeling. So Sarah also asks, "What should we bring with us?" And Jason tells her, "I've got some water and snacks." Then he adds, "I've also got sunscreen, very important, towels, and a beach umbrella." And then he reminds Sarah about something and says, "By the way, don't forget to bring your swimsuit and a change of clothes."
forget to do something， 就是忘记要做什么事情。那他这边我们的文章意思就是说，哎，不要忘记带你的泳装哦，然后要去换装。所以我们要记得，如果是 forget to do something， 就是忘记要去做。那如果是 forget doing something， 那么就是你已经做了，不过你忘记了。比如说 ，Monica forgot to turn off the AC before leaving the office。或者是 I forgot watching this fun clip. 我忘记我过去已经有看过这部有趣的影片了 So we also saw the word swimsuit. That's right. The word swimsuit、uh, can mean any kind of clothes worn while swimming. For guys, that tends to be trunks, T R U N K, or some kind of swimming shorts, surfing shorts, that kind of thing. For women, it can be a bikini. It can be a one-piece costume. In the UK, we tend to Say swimming costume. It's just a British English version of the same thing. But anyway, it's just the clothes you wear when you go into a swimming pool or into the sea. We could say, for example, Freddie's class went for a swimming lesson, but he forgot his swimsuit and couldn't take part. 对，所以这个是泳装的意思哦。那么说 ，What does Sarah say after that? Well, she says, "Of course, like of course, I'm not going to forget my swimsuit, not if we're going to the beach." But she does say, "Thanks for mentioning it." When we use the verb mention, we mean to say something or refer to something when you're talking or in writing, but you don't go into great detail. I mean, Jason doesn't exactly have to say why she needs her swimsuit. He doesn't need to tell her plenty of times to bring it with her. He just mentions it. He says it once and moves on to talk about something else. That's what we usually mean when we talk about mentioning something. For example, we could say Nick mentioned he was going on a vacation. Soon, but he didn't say where or when he was going. 嗯，这些字其实很好玩啊。有时候我们比如说哦、oh, ，thank you， 我们如果不想说哦、oh, ，no problem， 或 you're welcome 等等的不客气以外，我们也可以说 don't mention it， 就是哎，不用谢啦，不用客气。有时候我们也会这么讲。So hey Pat, thanks for your help. Oh, don't mention it. 对，这个也是很口语的用法。So Sarah, of course, she makes that note. Yep, bring my swimsuit and a change of clothes, so that if you get whatever you're wearing wet or full of sand, you can change into something nice and clean for the ride home, and you don't get sand all over the car. Which was definitely something I remember as kids. Just any time you'd bring a bunch of sand in the car, it'll be in your hair, it'll be <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, you just can't get rid of it. So she then moves on to talking about the rest of their plan. They've moved on from what they're going to bring. To To what they're going to do, she asks. What activities do you want to do at the beach? So activity 就是活动，所以呃， uh, 他就是问问的这个 Sarah 说 ，Hey， 那我们到海滩你要做什么活动呢？所以如果我们说户外活动啊，英文就是 outdoor activity。如果是室内活动，那么就是 indoor activity。那我们看一个句子 ，Rebecca is a big fan of hiking and other outdoor activities. So Jason answers by saying, "I'd love to go swimming and maybe try some surfing." We'll talk a bit more about surfing tomorrow, but it's just riding on one of those boards, catching the waves and letting them push you into land. So Jason then asks, "How about you?" Surfing, so this surfing is surfing. We will talk more about surfing tomorrow. So I'd love to. It actually means I want to. So its number is more than I'd like to. It's more than I'd like to. It's more than I'd like to. It's more than I'd like to. Have you tried surfing? No, but actually, my friend was asking me the other day if I wanted to take a lesson with him.、Mm -hmm. But I'm like,、oh, I'm not really good at swimming. Oh, okay. I've got some friends who are surfers. They go to different parts of Taiwan to do it. I can pretty much just lie face down on the board. Okay. I mean, I get the idea about here comes the wave, start paddling, hope it catches you, but. I, if I've ever tried to stand up, then it was when I was a lot younger, and it always involved me falling off. Oh my goodness! I think the most I could have done is maybe knelt on、uh -huh. the board, yeah, like put、yeah. both knees on it, and get pushed. But no, I, I just I haven't got the time. I'm too lazy. It sounds difficult, though. It, I mean, it looks fun. I'm just really too lazy. Okay. I, <laughs>、yeah. We'll we'll talk about this later. But when we go to the beach, I don't actually want to do、yeah. much at all. You just want to lie there and just get your suntan. Yeah, generally, and that's pretty much what Sarah says when she answers Jason's question. How about you? She says, "I want to relax and enjoy the view."
Now, when we talk about a view, we mean something that is pretty to look at, and we often use the word to refer to like the entire scene, everything you can see from a certain position, or it could refer to the landscape. This place has a great view or great views. We often use it to talk about natural views. So, if you say, "I want to enjoy the view," you imagine you're going to be looking at something beautiful. Mountains, rivers, the beach, something like that. We can also say a view of something. You could talk about what you could see, say, from your hotel window. I got a view of the beach. I got a view of the town. Whatever it happens to be. Now, here, when Sarah says, "I want to enjoy the view," she means just looking at the beach, the sea, the sky, and other places around. Maybe interesting cliff, rock formations, or pools, or stuff like that. So we could say, for example, Justine went to the top of Taipei One Hundred One and took in the wonderful view of the city below. Okay, so view 这一个字呢，在我们的文章中是当风景的意思哦，就是当名词。不过这个字也可以当动词哦，它有看待、考虑的意思。我们常常会说 to view A as B， 就是说把 A 当成 B 的意思。比如说 ，Diana is viewed as a strong candidate for the job. Diana 被认为是这一份工作的有力候选人。So we continue with the article, and Sarah is saying that's not all she wants to do. She might consider trying something that isn't just relaxing. She says, "But I'm also up for trying surfing or stand-up paddleboarding, if possible." When you say you are up for something, that means you are excited about a particular activity. You're interested in trying it out or doing it. You're just open to this opportunity. You're willing to give it a go. Like, yeah, okay, sure, I'll try that. If you describe someone as up for it, that just means yeah, they are willing to do something, to get involved with something. They're not going to say, ah,、oh, no, that's not really for me. 嗯，所以呢，嗯、um, ，他就是回答。当你说 ，Oh, I'm also up for something， 就是我愿意去做什么，代表如果可以的话，我也愿意去尝试冲浪跟立式单桨冲浪的意思。So stand-up paddleboarding is, I think, you just sort of stand on this board. You have like a paddle, and you just sort of、mm-hmm. move around with it. It's、yeah. like a, a re- slightly more relaxing, but、Dancer、still、thing. sort of fun activity.、Yeah. I assume you need calmer water.、Mm-hmm. But Jason likes the sound of it. He says that sounds interesting, and he adds, "I'll reserve a surfboard or paddleboard." Now, to reserve something means you are agreeing a time or place. For something in advance, ahead of that time, and making sure it will be available when you need to use it. We often talk about reserving a table at a restaurant, reserving a hotel room. In this case, he's going to call ahead and say, "Hey, make sure I want to have a surfboard or a paddleboard. Make sure it's available at this time at this place. I'm going to use it. Here's my name and details." We often say, "Book. You book a room. You book a a table at a restaurant." So you might say, Max reserved a table at his mum's favorite restaurant for her birthday meal. So 这边看到的 reserve， 它就是预定的意思，它是动词哦，或保留。但是我们当名词就是 reservation， 所以通常就是会指预定一个位置啊，一个餐厅，一个饭店。So 定位的话就是 to make a reservation。比如说 ，Do you have a reservation？ 那你就说 ，Oh yes， it's under Keating。我们通常就是可以加自己的姓氏。Mm-hmm. So Jason is now going to move on from activities to just getting those final details of their plan in place, and he asks Sarah, "What time do you want to go?" And Sarah replies, "I assume we want to leave early in the morning, so we have plenty of time to enjoy the beach." That's right. You don't you don't want to leave at like leave home at midday, get to the beach at like three o'clock, because what you'll have two three hours and then、yeah. it'll get dark and you'll have to go home again. No, you want to enjoy the full day. That's why she assumes that they're going to leave early. To assume something means to guess. You basically believe that you already know the answer, but you haven't quite checked or confirmed that answer. You think something is true, but you haven't gone ahead and checked it first. For example, a lot of people might say about me from the way Pat talks. I assume he is from England, <laughs>、yeah. and if you assume that, you would be correct. 
Yeah. So assume 就是认为。那它的名词呢，就是 assumption。所以如果我们去对谁有什么预测、假想、猜想，我们都可以说 you're making assumptions about something or someone. 比如说 ，people tend to make assumptions about others based on their looks. 那像老师刚刚那个句子，就是 they make assumptions about you based on the way you talk.、Mm. Well, if they if they went for looks, the assumption would be I'm American. Oh really?、Yeah. I think you look quite British. I don't think anybody can look British unless they're you know they're wearing one of those like Victorian style clothes. <laughs> But、okay. I I think it's just a thing in Taiwan. Especially among sort of either younger or older people,、uh -huh. not not in the middle, but they will see foreigner equals American. I know, right? That's the <laughs> that's the assumption that a lot of people make.、Yeah. But once they hear me talk, they go, "Okay, no, no not yeah, not yeah, American." Not. <laughs> We also saw in、uh, that sentence plenty of time. Sarah says they want plenty of time to enjoy the beach. If you have plenty of something, you have a lot of something. You've probably got more than you need. You've certainly got. Exactly enough. You've got enough. So you might say there are plenty of shoe shops on this street. You'll find a new pair of running shoes in one of them. 嗯，所以呃、uh, ，plenty 它这边就是有 lots of 或者是 a lot of 的意思，很好用啊这个字，因为 plenty of 后面可以接可数不可数都 OK 的哦。比如说，哎呀 ，we have plenty of time. No worries. 那那就是意思说，哦、oh, ，we have a lot of time. Don't worry. 就是不要担心，我们有很多时间哦。Okay, so that's pretty much about it for today. Yeah, we've finished the first part of the discussion between Jason and Sarah, and that's taking care of all their planning, all their ideas about what they're going to do. And when we join them tomorrow, they will actually be at the beach, doing things, enjoying their time, and we'll see what they end up deciding to do and how they're going to spend their time there. Right now, though, we're going to move on to today's for you chat question. So our chat question for today is: What items would you bring with you on a day trip to the beach? I will probably bring my sunglasses and sun lotion, sunscreen. Yeah, definitely don't want to get burned. Yeah. What else would you normally、uh, bring? Orange juice. Okay, you bring a drink. I could probably buy it there, right? Usually they have. The, there's going to be yeah, shops, ice、around. cream stand, Seven yeah, Eleven, yeah, yeah. something nearby. Yeah, it would be nice to have a to have a. Like a cup of sorbet. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely want an ice cream. You can't go to the beach without having an ice cream. Yeah, That's just wrong somehow. <laughs> What would you bring?、Um, I would bring a book. Okay. Oh, I, oh yeah, yeah. I'll always bring a book to to just kind of sit and read on the beach. I will bring、uh, usually some music to listen to. You know, headphones, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever music on my phone, so I can just lie like there. A little speaker, wireless speaker. I I don't I because I just don't want to bother other people with make them listen to what I'm listening. Oh、to. yeah. So I'll go with headphones. Okay.、Um, if I was, it depends who I'm going with. If I'm going with my friends in the UK, then most of the time I'm going to be bringing some kind of. Entertainment, you know, whether that's a a larger ball for football, a smaller ball for、oh, yeah. tennis. If it's with British people, I'll probably want to try and bring a, a cricket bat and ball、cricket. because、oh. we we like cri I like cricket and you can play beach cricket, which is just、cool. a really kind of silly, fun version where. You don't actually have to have any skill. You just, <laughs> it, you know, it's a bit like baseball. You're just hitting a tennis ball with a bat and trying to make people run into the sea to go and get the ball again. <laughs> okay. Try and keep it away from whatever dogs are running around. <laughs> so, because the dogs always they see a ball, they're like, "This game is for me." Even yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though that's not my family, right, I'm going、right, to go and play. Uh huh. Uh, anything else you would bring? Uh, probably. Like you said, I, I think I will bring my my earphones too,、mm -hmm. so I can listen to music. I'll probably bring my guitar, so I can write a song. Oh, okay, yeah, because it's a really beaches are really nice places for you to have inspiration. Okay, there、yeah. you go. Well, that's all the time we've got for today. But join us again tomorrow to see if Jason and Sarah really do enjoy their trip to the beach and have fun in the sun. Bye for now. Bye. Vocabulary review. Swimsuit. Sally bought a new swimsuit for the beach trip because her old one was too small. Mention. The students thought they didn't have homework because the teacher forgot to mention it during class. View. I like the window seat on planes 
because I like the view of clouds in the sky. Reserve. Mary reserved a room for us at the hotel for a Thursday night, so we'll stay there. Assume. I assumed that Marvin was rich because he always wears nice clothes. I didn't know he has little money. Plenty. Heather doesn't have much time right now, but she'll have plenty of free time during her summer vacation. The program is by Huayong Language Media. Huayong Language Media Magazine. Please search all public libraries in the United States. 如欲索取视听教材，请来电零二二三六四四零零零零二二三六四四零零零，或上网查询，网址是 triple w dot english 四 u dot net triple w dot english 四 u dot net。